Hey guys, Antonio here again with some more of the Lean Startup by Eric Reese. Today we're going to be talking about Chapter 5. This is now in Part 2, which is titled Steer. Um, chapter 5 is titled Leap. Um, so they start off the chapter talking about these two challenges that entrepreneurs face. Um, first one is coming up with a system to test hypotheses. Uh, hypotheses, sorry, I keep, I keep messing that up. Um, so the first challenge uh, is something that hopefully this book helps you try to solve um, uh, with giving you the idea of how to experiment, how to get that learning and coming back. The second one is more based off of you and that's not losing the sight of vision that you can lose as you're going on. Because, you know, let's say, uh, God forbid this happens, but you are coming down coming down to the point where you have very little funding left or very little money in your bank account if you're doing this solo and um, a customer wants something completely different than what you want and it doesn't align with your vision at all. Um, I don't suggest that you just change yourself for the customer because, <clears throat> excuse me, the, um, the, what, if you're trying to accomplish something that's great and your vision is awesome, you don't want to not have your vision at all and just build something completely different that the customer wants. Um, so you, what you really want to do is try to find, oh, the, the book is trying to help you challenge one and challenge two is something you need to stay true to. Um, and the goal in the beginning of doing this experimentation and stuff like that is to get a basic level understanding of what the customer is, who the target customer is. And once you have that, you want to build a customer archetype, which is a document that is basically used to humanize what the customer looks like. Um, I'm not saying necessarily physical attributes, but that could be it if that's what your product has to do with. Um, but it could be what your what that person's hobbies are, what that person enjoys doing, what that person um, does regularly. So um, you want to build that customer archetype. And then as we're moving forward here, there's these two dangers that you need to keep in the back of your mind. Um, it's acting too soon based off of no information at all and acting too late and continuously analyzing. Um, so far we've talked about a lot of the acting too late, um, which is running, uh, sorry, building a lot of uh, business plans first and then moving forward. You wanna, have, you wanna have a somewhat idea of what you're doing, but at the same time, don't start going without having any idea of what you want. But, so this process of validated learning and experimentation helps finding this medium in between where you're testing one thing, which is not too soon or too late, and you can just keep moving forward. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I left the link in the description down below for this book. Um, also, like the video if you really enjoyed it, I'd appreciate it. Let me know how you like the uh, setup I got going on here. Um, uh, if you'd like anything else for me to do, let me know in the comments down below. And subscribe along, guys, for more videos. Keep learning every single day with me on my whiteboard. Have a great day.